Hello everyone, welcome to my Say It Sunday number 19. Uh, last week I actually asked everyone, are you pooing daily? And if not, uh, you should be concerned. And uh, previous Say It Sunday of mine was talking about how over 90% of Australians do not consume the recommended daily intake of fruit and vegetables. And that is the main source of our fibre intake. And uh, without fibre guys, we cannot pass our waste. That way, it's, uh, when we're not passing our waste regularly, all that happens is we're building up toxins in our body and putting our bodies in potential harm, risk, and uh, in introducing or allowing the introduction of diseases. Uh, it's a scary thought, guys. So eat your damn veggies and let's take a poo every day, at least once. So my Say It Sunday number 19, as I mentioned last week, I wanted to talk about microbiome or your gut bacteria. Some people will know it as probiotic. So next week I'm gonna talk about prebiotic. This week is about probiotic. Now guys, by no means am I a doctor, I do my own research, and there's a doctor who I follow, uh, follow a, a gut doctor called Dr. B. Um, the guy is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I'm actually gonna put a link in this post uh, to his social media account. And you should definitely subscribe and check it out. Um, basically guys, with your gut bacteria or your microbiome, there is trillions of bacteria, okay? Trillions. And these bacteria feed on the fiber. Now, if you're not consuming a high, the, the right amount of fiber, guys, what are these bacteria consuming? Okay, and, and 95%, they say 95% of our serotonin, our happy hormone, is produced in our gut. 5% only from our brain. 70% of our immune system is built from our gut. 70%. If you're someone that's getting sick all the time and your diet is full of processed food, takeaway, um, high amounts of, of um, particular proteins and things like that that aren't, aren't clean and healthy with, with chemicals in them and things like that, guys, you are really um, allowing your body to be in a, a really unhappy state all the time. Now, what you need to do, guys, is make sure that your body will produce gut bacteria that will be hungry for the food you give it most. If you eat a lot of takeaway and crap food on, on a regular basis, your gut bacteria and microbiome will be built around what you consume most of. Therefore, your cravings will be for these particular foods. Now the other thing is, is because those particular foods are so nutrient poor and calorie rich, okay, that your gut bacteria are always healthy because they're never being nourished. Okay, this is why we need to eat better whole foods, nourish, and then your gut bacteria will turn into a much healthier type of bacteria. If you take a lot of antibiotics like I did for well over a year, so there's potentially I have killed some of my gut bacteria either for, for the rest of my life or up until at least five years. And this is why another reason of many why I'm on this journey to make my body as, health as it, healthy as it could possibly be. I wanna live longer, healthier. I don't want people waiting on me when I'm on my deathbed, okay? I don't wanna to have to be taking drugs to stay alive for the last 20 years of my life. So I've turned around and now I'm trying to share the message with everyone else. Let's take a poo daily, let's eat more fruit and vegetables, let's get our fiber intake up, let's feed our gut bacteria what it needs, and let's get our immune system strong, let's get sick less, okay? The whole world at the moment, guys, is fat, sick, and dying. Say it Sunday, number 19, microbiome and gut bacteria. Get on it, guys, and let's make a healthy change. Peace.